In this video, I wanna talk about this FLIR-1 thermal imaging camera. I am not sponsored by FLIR. I bought this because I wanted to do a video on sealing up my attic access, and I wanted a really cool before and after shot, and this did the trick. This is a Gen 3 version for the iOS, because I have an iPhone, and that's basically how it works. It works hand in hand with your phone, as this little connection right here goes into the bottom of the phone. To start, it comes with this really cool case. Just a little hard rubber case, and it has the charger in there. That's one thing, it needs to be charged with a USB-C right here. So this is a USB-C to a USB that it comes with. And you can tuck that right in there, tuck your camera in there, take it on the go. But this isn't really so much a review video. I'm just gonna show you some of the features, how to use it. Um, people were asking me in that video that I made to talk about it and what camera it was. So here's this video. So I'll plug it into the phone and we'll take a look at it. But before we plug this into the phone, I wanna talk about this right here. And this is an adjustment for the connection here. So if you have a phone case, you can adjust this out so that you don't have to take the phone out of the case. That's a really cool feature. But unfortunately for me, my phone case was just a little too big. So if you have something like this, that feature might not work, um, unfortunately. But if you have a normal size case, a thinner one, you should be fine. So now we can take the camera, pop it into our phone, and you're gonna have to download the FLIR One app. It's a free app, looks just like that. Open that up and it's gonna give you a choice between two different cameras. We have this one right here. So it shows a little thing right here that says to push this button on the bottom. So you push that button, a couple seconds, it'll light up and in a couple seconds, it'll pop on here. There you go. So now we have a thermal camera on your phone. So if I hold this up like this, you can see it has a temperature gauge right here. You can change that from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And I'll show you an example. I can leave my handprint right here. Pretty cool. Um, let me just run down a couple basic features on here. So right here, you have your settings. It shows which camera you have. I'm not logged in to cloud storage. You have your settings that you can change. Temperature units, that's where you change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Time format, 24 hours to 12 hours. Date format, this is for when you take pictures and it saves that data. And here's something I honestly don't know anything about, emissivity. Um, I guess it just changes uh, the measurement of how efficient an object radiates heat. That's what it says here. So I just have it on the recommended mat. And I'm gonna go back. You have help, info, apps, all kinds of stuff here. Um, some, some apps that kinda uh, help you diagnose certain things, like this is a FLIR car inspect. That's kind of cool of how to troubleshoot cars with a thermal imaging camera. Um, and inspection guides for your house. That's kind of cool. So another thing this can do is take pictures. So even just right here, I'll take a picture of this and it can take video right here. So right here, top right, is your gallery. So I just took this photo and you can change from regular cameras, the regular camera to the thermal imaging. And you can change all kinds of stuff about this. It can turn the, um, you could add notes right here, but you can turn the temperature off in the settings right here. There we go. Measurement. So you turn that off and you can change a bunch of things like the color, 
how it looks. So all kinds of cool things that you can do with this. You can play around with it. But like I said, I bought this for one specific use and I'm just letting you know what it's all about. So let me go take a look at a couple things around my house with it so you can have an idea of what it can do. So let's take a look at my exterior wall. I'm going to push record here. So now we're rolling. It'll save to my camera roll. Take a look how cool this thing is. So every 16 inches you'll see here, there's a stud. So it's warmer in between each stud and then each stud is cooler so it'll change colors. Here's my exterior door. Looks like I could do some sealing up in this corner and right here. The big weak point right there, the window. Uh, we'll get a little closer. Actually take a look at the window. Right here it shows it's cooler because the shades aren't down all the way. There's my dog's water bowl. Cold water. That's good. You can check the temperature of your dog's water. If I bring this up a little bit. By the way, it is winter time. It's about 24 degrees outside right now. But this is a good way to check like the efficiency of you know how your house is sealed up and that's why I got it for the attic access point because I wanted to see a before and after. It shows weak points like outlets. Now it's colder around the outlet. Same thing with this one. This is telling because you can see this is a two gang box. You would think, but it's actually a three gang box. I <laughs> filled this part in because I had a switch that didn't work anymore, so I got rid of it. But you can tell from this camera, it's like uh, it's kind of like x-ray vision. You can tell that that box is actually bigger. Right here's an interesting one. So this is uh, switches right here. So you can see there's a little heat loss right there. And then over here, it gets warm because that's a dimmer switch and dimmer switches get warm for whatever reason. You can actually feel that's a little warm. And now you see my little fingerprints. Every now and again, it does this calibrating thing. That's the only thing I've noticed about it. It hasn't like failed or shut off or anything. Just every now and again, if I move a little fast, sometimes it, it calibrates. You see the big weak point with doors all around the edge. So here's a good one. This floor right here is in the original basement, but if I move over this way to the bedroom, you can see it instantly changes color. And you can get a temperature reading on that. That's because that's under a crawl space. It's not insulated and it's always about five degrees colder in the bedrooms. So you can see this original foundation or basement and that is crawl space. And right here I have my attic access point. This is why I bought this thing was to get a cool before and after. And what I did was I made an attic insulation box and it's in there now, so you're not gonna notice too much of a temperature difference between the ceiling and that, so it worked. Before, it was all blue, it was much colder, and after sealing it up, it's nice and warm. And I'm in another bedroom and got the baseboard heat right here, and another window, and as you move, it adjusts and you can change the color of this the same way I showed you with the gallery, the image gallery. In this room you can also see all the studs. Oh, and you can actually see there's cross bracing in this corner and it, it shows that. That's cool. Yeah. When you're done, you just close the app. This will unplug. Push the button for a couple seconds, it'll shut down. Uh, not a review video, I just wanted to let you know what camera it was that I used in that other video because 
people were asking in the comments. Um, so if you're interested, I think it's a good option for a thermal imaging camera if you're in the market for one. Thanks for watching. Hope the video helps.